Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue with me, John Garcia. Uh, last time we went through Viridian's Forest after beating up Train, who was laughably weak. Uh, this time we're going to fight more laughably weak people, and one in the not-so-laughable and not-so-weak person. Uh, I'm talking, of course, about this city that we just entered. Oh yes, Jigglypuff will sing at you. Uh, kind of a thing in the anime. Um, and in uh, Pokemon Yellow, your Pikachu, who follows you around, will fall asleep. Uh, so that's kind of funny, uh, I guess, if you're into funny things. Anyway, uh, this is Pewter City, which is notable because it has a museum that we will not be going to, at least not yet. Um, the Museum of Science! Uh, I'll, I'll probably eventually go in there, but just not right now, because I have better things to do. For instance, I am just gonna... Um, what if I just skip through this town? Is that gonna be fine? Huh? Right. Oh, you're a trainer, right? Rock's looking for a new challenges. Follow me! I don't know why I made this guy foreign and gave him a weird accent. Do 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 do. We are being forced to do things in an order. No sequence breaking for you in this game. Sorry. Okay, so if we have the right stuff, we have to fight Brock with our stuff. And that guy walked. I don't know where he went. He disappeared into the fence. Anyway, uh, do I have a Pokemon already? Yeah. This is the first gym. Gym, basically, hey, I can tell you what you think. Yeah, they have a guy who tells you things uh, and calls you champ in making. The gym guy. All right, let's get happening. The first Pokemon in the match is the top of the Pokemon list. That should be obvious already. Uh, but anyway, we are fighting this first gym, which is, as obvious by the rocks, a rock-type gym. All the gyms have a certain type that uh, they're affiliated with, uh, and they basically all use those types. Except for this gym, despite being a rock-type gym, has one sub-trainer in it who does not have rock-type Pokemon. He has, instead, a Diglett, um, which is a ground-type Pokemon. Basically, rock and ground types, uh, despite often being paired together, at least in this game, are quite different. Ground-type uh, resists all forms of electricity, electricity will do nothing to it. So, um, if you uh, are playing Pokemon Yellow, or if you just happen to catch a Pikachu in Viridian Forest, uh, it's not going to really help you out here. You're, you're not going to actually do anything to harm uh, the Pokemon. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my, my nostrils uh, were full of snot. Anyway, uh, yes, I will change Pokemon because Johnson's going to die. Johnson returns. <laughs> Ah, uh, Johnson. But yes, ground Pokemon, uh, the thing about ground Pokemon and rock Pokemon is they are weak to water. Uh, they are also weak to grass, which makes them quite easy to deal with. Um, if you chose a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur. Now, Squirtle gets Bubble pretty early on, but Bulbasaur, instead of Bubble, gets Leech Seed, an attack that is not actually, like, a straight-up attack. It, uh, gives your opponent a special kind of status where every turn some of their health gets drained and given back to you. Um, so we can be good at wearing down bosses. Uh, so Bulbasaur is good in this gym as well. Um, but with Squirtle, this gym just becomes so easy. Just ridiculously easy. In fact, yeah, Light Years is not time. He, he said I was Light Years from Brock. He, very bad understanding of astrophysics in this gym. Uh, actually, Brock is easier than this trainer. Uh, for reasons that will be elaborated soon. I'm not even going to go back and heal, because I know I can beat him as is. Uh, oh, I'm not even tricky track of time. Ah, I think I'm keeping track of time, alright. Anyway, all of his Pokemon are the rock type, but all of his Pokemon are rock and ground type. As I've kind of hinted, rock and ground are both weak to grass, and both weak to water. And he does not wear a shirt. Uh, okay then. So, oh, got this, got this awesome gym theme. Just gonna, just gonna revel in this for a second before talking about mechanics. Squirtle, pop a bubble in his face. Anyway, rock is weak to water, ground is weak to water. They are both so weak to water that all of your attacks will do four times the amount of damage. Uh, and while rock Pokemon are very defensive, they are, uh, at least these Pokemon, are not very good against special aligned attacks, which I'll, I'll, I'll get into that later. Um, and Indiana is just gonna, he's gonna be so high level by the end of this fight, because, um, Rock Pokemon, the thing that makes them, uh, formidable, at least in the beginning of the game, 
is they resist water, or they resist normal type attacks. They resist flying type attacks. They resist fire type attacks. So if you chose the Charmander, this this will be a hard battle if you chose the Charmander. Otherwise, just so easy. This Onyx giant snake of rocks, who when they tackle you hurts just the same amount as a as a turtle tackling you for some reason, it just goes down so easily by having a bubble pop in its face. Uh, which makes absolutely no logical sense. I mean, really. Squirrel probably just... Indiana's probably, you know, along with his fedora and his whip, he's just got like a little bubble blower. There's a little bubble. Here's the boulder badge. <laughs> ah, I got a boulder badge. That's an official Pokemon League badge. Its bearer's Pokemon became more powerful. I don't know if that's actually true, but whatever. And I can... yeah, I'll get into that. Wait, take this with you. Jed received TM34. TMs, yes, they basically contain a move, and you can use them to teach your Pokemon that move. Uh, but they break after one usage. So that, that that makes them kind of a pain, because you have to choose carefully who you use it on. But this TM is for a crappy move called Bide. Uh, makes you wait a while, and yeah, it, it's terrible. Uh, you appear to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer. Because you beat me in four moves with one Pokemon. Do -do -do. So that was Brock. We beat him in... I mean, we beat the entire gym already in this episode. And it's like halfway through. I don't know. I've, I've been keeping track of time. Uh, I'll just keep going for a little bit. But basically, that gym, easy peas. So easy as peas. Um, but like I was saying with, um, with Rock Pokemon, uh... I guess this is a good time as any, since I, uh, you know, I cleared through this town so quickly. To go over stats, um, Pokemon, in first generation at least, have five stats. They have, uh, let me get out my mouse here. They have their HP stat, which is pretty obvious, you know, attacks two points of damage. More of that is good, of course, you heal it with potions and stuff. Um, they have their attack, which determines attack-based attacks. Defense, which determines defense against de attack-based attacks. Speed, which determines which Pokemon will go first, and also some other important things that I'll go over later. And Special, which is both attack and defense for special-based attacks. Uh, obviously, the programmers of this game did not think it through, because if you have high special stat, you have high attack and high defense. Um, those rock Pokemon had low special attack, or special, low special, so they were not going to be very good if they used, like, a water attack against me. Um... But they are also just incredibly weak against water attacks. Uh, this is a problem, and they of course fix this in later games. But in this game, we will use this to our full advantage. Uh, because when with high special are just... Ugh, they just break the game for you. They just, everything in the game is so easy. I think I'll fight one, one more trainer before uh, ending this off. I'm not exactly sure <laughs> how long I've been doing. I met you in Viridian Forest! Actually, I, I kind of doubt that, because all the trainers in Viridian Forest... If you go back there, they're still there. But, uh, you know... We'll still be fighting bug catchers, which is good because Spiro's behind. Er, Johnson! Johnson! You're behind on experience because you didn't do anything in, against Brock. You defeated a Diglett. Ah. Uh, which, fine. Yeah, you, you get punked for that, whatever. Um, yes. Brock, super easy, unless you've got a Charmander, in which case, uh, try and burn the Pokemon with the, the, your fire attacks. Fire attacks have a chance to burn, which is much like poison, except for. Uh, it does a little less damage, doesn't damage outside of, um, like when you're walking on the field, you don't, don't get the poison damage. Uh, and also, burn reduces your attack, um, which can be a big pain. So if you're burned, your attack is cut in half. Um, so it's very good for defensive Pokemon to burn the opponent, because then, then the opponent can't really do much. Uh, and it's very lucky for you if you're able to burn Brock's Pokemon. Otherwise, uh, just hope that you got a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur. Ah, uh, da, 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 you keep using bugs. That, okay. Here's the thing. Caterpie and Weedle both evolve at level 7 into Kakuna and Metapod, uh, irrespectively. And then they evolve at level 10 into the Butterfree and, uh, Beedrill. This Caterpie's level 10. There is no reason for that. Caterpie, uh, is useless, basically, uh, until you evolve it. Um, but you will encounter a lot of, a lot of trainers, especially early in the game, who just don't evolve their Pokemon. Why? Because it makes it easier for you. 
Uh, I think I'm going to be done here. Even if this is a particularly short episode, we at least beat Brock. Uh, so next time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue, uh, we'll do other stuff. So bye.